Blitz 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 we got Blitz the label jumping off the porch with us today. Yo, yes, sir. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How y'all feeling? Feeling hey, good. Yeah. good. For sure. Yeah, for great. sure. Yeah, what y'all be saying in Florida? How y'all feel, y'all boys? Yeah. <laughs> good. Yo, what's good? Hey, That's what's up. We always say what you say. What you okay. Say, what you say. How you All feel? right. Hey, it's a pleasure to have y'all on the porch with us today, nonetheless. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. Appreciate no problem. It. How I feel to be in the city of Atlanta? Lovely, man. It's crazy. Got Atlanta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. Love the inspiration to see around. That's real. Yes, sir. How does it feel to go to different cities just chasing y'all dreams? Feel good, man. That's what it's about. That's why we put the work in to do it. That's real. You know? So go ahead and let the people know who y'all names is and go ahead and let them know the members. I'm Pierre Black. You can follow me on IG, Pierre Black dot underscore. Yes, sir. I'm Jay De Niro, a.k.a. Lil Gleek. Tapping in for 14 EP when we don't get no sleep, we don't work, we don't eat. J Boogie on IG, J De Niro on all music platforms. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Only One Smoosh. Catch me on all platforms, Instagram, Facebook, anything. Only One Smoosh. That was going on. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. So talk about Florida and the inspiration and how y'all came up. Let's start with you, Pierre. I came up in the low. Shout out Monticello. First one out my city really here. First time somebody from the city being on the porch. So it's an honor to be the first one to do that. But my music inspiration just came from just, I always had a passion for it. Even in the third, fourth grade, winning talent shows, just singing, freestyling, playing around. So as I got older, it was just something was just in me. You know, I took a little hiatus from it for a little while, but it's just a passion. It just kept burning into me. So when I leaned over with this guy and that guy right there, my manager, they, when I got with them boys, it was just like another chemistry. Everything just fell in line. So it gave me an opportunity and a platform to be a voice to get back into what I love. So that music just in me. That's real. What about you, Jaden Arrow? Man, I ain't gonna lie, I've been like, okay, so I started out like singing. So I've been singing since I can remember, like just in church choir. And then like in high school, I was at, uh, you know, the chorus for like all four years. And like, we snapped too much to state, all that. But I never took singing seriously because I'm just like, you know, all right, it's straight. But then uh, I, uh, when I got to college, shout out to you. Uh, that's when I started like picking up rapping. Shout out to these boys in the back. No. Right there. He actually got me on like the freestyling tip. So ever since then, but I, of course I always loved music though. Like it just always been something, you know, it's just been a part of my life. That real? Smooth? Man, basically shoot. Music started out like, my mom used to like freestyle in the car on the way home. And like everybody in my family used to just be freestyling. They used to be raw and I ain't had nothing to freestyle. And ever since then, I was like, man, I got to I'm going to figure that shit out. Like, one day, man, I, my turn to freestyle, I'm going to freestyle. And then, shoot, one day, me and my dog, we just fucking off in school. And um, we had dropped a song. We put that bit on SoundCloud. And this in high school. We showed up the next day. Boy, we get off the bus, everybody in the whole school singing that bit. That's really like, I was like, yeah, I got to take this shit serious. But I ain't do it back then. It was a few years later once I got to fam you. And I was like, OK. Yeah, we gotta go crazy. No, that's hard. Yes, sir. How would y'all talk about the impact Florida is having right now with everything coming on the rise? That shit major, man. You got everything on yeah, lock. Especially man. North Florida, South Florida, what? Central Florida, like right now. That's where you want to be at right now. Yep. You know what I mean, that's the best way to be right now, Florida, man. No, for real. So tell us more so about Monticello and how we know it's close to Tallahassee, but you know it's still its own city. It's the, it's the mud, man. That's the, that's the real trenches. That's like a lot of people don't know, man. It's a lot of talent come from now. You know, they just don't have the right platform to get it out there, you know what I'm saying? But coming from Monticello, man, that's like probably one of the worst cities in, in Florida. But that just, it also gives that fire that we need, you know what I'm saying? We already know we got our back against the wall. So when it comes to like sports, music, school, anything you want to do, you just got to just bite down on it and do it because growing up in those trenches, especially in the heart of the 14, 25, boy, yeah. It want, it want much though, you yeah. know? It's small, it want much. So you just had to be that voice or just be that focal point to just break through, let them know we here. Look at me now. Nah, Look at sure. me now, right here. No, nah, for sure. Talk about that Sincerely Black EP you just dropped. Man, that was more for like the ladies. I just dropped three times right before that. But when I dropped Sincerely Black, that was more of me just touching my R&B side, R &B side to like let the ladies know, even though I'm in these trenches right here, I still, I still be the man you need. 
No, for sure. Jay De Niro, well, tell us about the Duval side, man. Tell oh, about the man. Duval, Duval side of the city. Man. Duval. Duval. <laughs> Shout out to the city, man. You know, um, Duval is, is definitely, it's the jungle. But of course, you know, you move the right way. And, you know, wherever you at, it's the jungle anywhere where, you know what I'm saying, like, they have it everywhere. So, you know, uh, I definitely say, you know, just moving the right way while you're there, making sure, you know, you keep your head on the swivel, like, my pops, he always told me, like, whatever you do, just keep your head on the swivel, like, you know, don't ever think that everything is always 100% good, like, just always keep your head on the swivel, and so, like, man, Duval, for me, like, shoot, growing up, like, you know, too hard working parents, you know, good little life, going to school, making good grades, you know, cause I just like making my people proud. So, you know, I made sure I was, you know, in them books. Football is really the thing. And that's the thing, like a lot of people I don't think get when it comes to football, uh, to do ball is that like, we be football. having that stick when it comes to football for real. Yeah. Like, them boys be snapping out of there. And so like, that's really like what my life consisted of coming up in do ball. It was school, uh, family, school, and football, like, that's what I was on. And no, so, for sure. Yeah. Talk about Love and Pride, the EP you just dropped at the oh, top man. of the year. Yes, so, okay, so, Love and Pride, like, one thing about it, like, all of us, we are artists. We not just rappers, just singers, like, we artists. We made art, like, we can make anything, we can make any type of vibe. And so, like, like I said, I grew up singing, and like, with my people, I couldn't listen to no rap music, like, Growing up, or like, and the couldn't listen to rap music with like explicit lyrics and stuff like that. So, all you heard when I was riding with my people was it was R and B or gospel music. So basically, um, that's me, you know, giving my R and B side and like the Love and Pride EP. It was definitely something that was special because it was the first like tape that I like put together with like I say like the better quality because I record myself and so like. It was fire. It was, you know, definitely something for the ladies. It got some vibes <laughs> on it, but. Nah, for yeah. sure. Smoosh, go yes, ahead. Let us know about Jacksonville, man. Man, I love Jacksonville. It's pretty, it's pretty nice there. I, um, I stayed in like the beaches part, so I really wasn't in too much and nothing too crazy or nothing like that. And I just love the city, man. It's just every time I see somebody that I went to high school with, I get like a little bit of nostalgia or something because it's just like remind me of all the old memories and like you know I really I, I like this uh, show we just did the, when was that like April 22nd we yep. did um, at the Justice Pub and like man like the city actually knew the song I was like okay they know the little song another charm I was like okay that shit that shit felt good dude. that's hard that's hard talk mm -hmm. about more so other songs you dropped at 2020 one being another charm another yep. one take my time and up a hundred shoot man that another charm like sure i be recording i got a studio and i have artists come to the studio and like the type of time they be on they be on them yari beats them uh them wiz having type beats and i was like okay let me try let me try like a wiz having boston richie type beat because normally i'm in here making a song like take my time or you know what i'm saying like a little r b vibe or something like that but with that another charm I came out the gate with like, you know, some bars and hearing some like some real motion music and people actually was feeling that, like they can feel it. And then um that take my time, I just had to like slow it down. I had to slow it down and then um I did a reel, an Instagram reel, and it was like a girl snapping on that bit, talking about uh in the beginning I take my time, she's snapping. And that bit got like four hundred thousand views. So I use that bit as a tag now sometime when I need to. And after that song, like people actually started, you know, interacting with me. And that was like really one of the first songs I started pushing as a single myself. Cause normally I do all my music with him or collabing with my boys. But then he go to Upper Hundred, did that bit with my boy Chop back here. Hey, yo Chopper, man, shout out that boy, man. He, chop, done, chop. he done seen that bit from the beginning, like from the ground, from the mud for real. Now that bit, you know, going up. But that Upper Hundred, we were just in that bit. I didn't already recorded it, and that boy heard it. He was like, "Hold on, now, I think I can do something on that bit." And I, I just trust him. I was like, "I already know he gonna slide that bit." And then once we performed that bit, that boy started. He was screaming to the top of his lungs. That bit was so funny. That shit was wrong. For sure. So yeah, talk yeah. about how you guys all found it, or got founded by Blitz the Lake. Man, Jay, take that over, bro. So look, so. Uh, 
Mr. Label really started. Oh man, look, going, hey, I got a bar, it's like going up top now. We've been at it since 325 West, cooking up top down. So basically, our first song, Top Down, me, Smooch, and our boy Chop back there, right? And basically, like, we was cooking up, like I said, we were freestyling. Uh, he introduced us to one of his friends. Shout out to that boy Andy, man. Yeah, shout and, out that uh, boy. He had a studio in, uh, in his apartment in Tallahassee. So we went there, man, cooked up a song, and basically, like, that's how we jumped off with, like, Blister the label. And of course, like, we got a whole bunch of other people that, you know, be around and, you know, they with us, of course, but, like, the main people, like, you know, really cooking up for real. So, um, man, we cooked that up, and that was, like, back in 2018. No lie, we really just uh, met up. Shout out to Beyond Greatness Management back there. We just linked up with Pierre, what, last year, November? Mm -hmm. Last year, November, at a, uh, at a show, Catch My Vibe Tour, and so, Man, like, ever since, it's just been like, it's just like, it's just jail. Like, that's one thing we stand on, like, brotherhood before anything, you know, because a lot of people just not solid when it comes to it. And like, we brothers over anything. Like, I can go to them talk about anything, but like, blitz the label, like, we just all about attacking. You know, when you blitz in football, you send everybody at the quarterback. You send it all, and you go to with no regret, no doubt, none of that, all the way. And so like, that's what we do when we blitz, like, we just go in all the way with everything. If you're going to do it, be all in. No, oh, that's real. Pierre, detail how much it means to have such a solid support system. It means a lot. Because doing it on my own and then doing it with other groups, just trying it out. If you ain't got no loyalty like these boys show me, or just love family brotherhood, it ain't going to work, bro. You know, it ain't going to work. A good team, a good support system, bro, that's just motivation, man. And then it's like all the songs. So it ain't like... I'm gonna get on the track trying to sound like Smoosh. Or I'm gonna get on the track and try to sound like Jay. Everybody got their own unique sound. So when we blend it together, it's like, damn, the boy's hitting on all cylinders. Just like you were saying, just to elaborate on the Jacksonville show. We did we did a song called Baby. We remixed the Shanti Baby and got our version of it. Dropped that thing, boy, and just watched that crowd yes. And everybody here was like, who these niggas is? Like, who these niggas is? Cause it's it's like from the time we got the stage to walk out the door, we couldn't even get out the door. Cause there was flood and it's like asking questions, who this, who this, who this? And ain't no, ain't no, ain't no star, cause everybody's a star. You know, so like you said, Straight when up. we blitzing, it just blitz. Everybody got to get a second day in the way. Straight up. So, just love, bro. Straight up. Smooth, what would you say is the overall goal for the brand and the label? Overall? Shoot, really like, I'm a, I got a long shot, but like, I want like blitz to be like, almost the effect of like Apple. Like you see that brand recognition? you know that something from Blitz, that shit gonna be hitting. Like, there's no if and buts about it. But other than that, that's really what, just a big brand recognition, everybody just know Blitz and just like, it can just be a movement, cause I just see like, having that mentality, some people don't have that mentality. They kind of like half-ass something, they like, or like say they wanna do something, they don't really do it. But if you don't wake up every day and do some shit, you ain't gonna see no results. So as long as I can spread that out, Big goal for me, big goal for me. Nah, straight up. Yes, sir. Y'all remember y'all first job? First job? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was oh, y'all first job? Fucking dog track in Jefferson County, bro. <laughs> Running after these fucking dogs, man. Dog track. But at, 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 at 16, 17, you know, mom was a single parent raising four kids and trying to make sure we survived. Good thing I had a good mind to go out and get it. So it was like, I ain't really had to depend on nothing because I already know how to go get it from, from, from the dog trap to fucking frying chicken on Friday night, chicken delight, you know, mm -hmm. making sure I had to get it. So I, I like to look good, I like to smell good. I ain't want to have to bother my mama for that kind of shit, so I just went out and go get it. Jay, what's your mm -hmm. first job? Man, my first job was in the Orange Park Mall at Kids Foot Locker, man. Shout out Mr. Cole. Shout out Mr. Cole, I love you Mr. Cole. But yeah, like, man, that was turnt because, um, man, I used to see Hella people like coming up up in there like uh, during that time. So like that was around the time when uh, YK Osiris was uh, blowing up, and so he'll be going tomorrow. I played ball with him too. That's the crazy thing. But like he'll come up in the store, he'll dap me up and shit like that. And then uh, Baby Soldier, he'll be in the mall. Uh, shoot, one time I ain't gonna lie, uh, uh, NBA young boy. Um, Baby mama was up in there with his mom and uh, the little kid. And so, like, they came in the store and everything. But, like, yeah, that same thing, like he was saying, like, it just taught me how to hustle, like, go get it. One thing about it, like, 
it ain't nothing like having your own. For sure. Facts. Yeah, what was your first job at? Shit, man, my first job was like, I'll never forget. I went to go do uh, a gate application. I went, did the piss test, went, did the little 5 a.m. shit, everything. And then the first day I was like, bro, working at a gate gas station till like midnight <laughs> as your first job? Like, hold up, bro. <laughs> That's some crazy <laughs> shit. Like, you finna get, I don't know. Like, and then my grandma scared me. She was like, you know, gas stations get robbed. I'm like, well, God, <laughs> all right, hold on now. So I said, bought that. <laughs> Real deal. I said, bought that. I had to get me like an indoor job. I found a little trucking company. And uh, I was dispatching, like, on some, I'm a little, a little ass kid or some shit. And I'm over here calling grown folk like, hold on, no, I do not want to do 2,800 on this load. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to need 3,000. Like just negotiating and shit. So that shit was pretty fun, like as a first job. But I just never forget that gate. Like that was literally my first experience in like the career world. Cause I was mad. I'm like, I need some money. Like, I'm gonna go get me a job. But that shit scared the fuck out of me, <laughs> boy. Hey. Nah, for sure. At what point would y'all say y'all decided to jump off the porch? Shoot, at the man tapping in with BGM, that boy just was like, hold on, man, this some some real shit to go by, and like it really showed that you actually want this shit for real. <laughs> I just think it was time, bro. We don't put in the groundwork, so it's time for the world to see who he is. It's, it's our time, bro. Ain't nobody gonna start that. Like we gonna get with it or get blitz. Straight up. Straight up. Mm -hmm. day, that hunger is like. After, especially after like the first time going up in there, laying something down, getting right, like, it was like, yeah, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. Like, it just made me happy and it's like, it's therapy too. Like, it don't even always have to be on some type of time where, oh yeah, I'm trying to get right and make a hit and go crazy and nothing like that. Nah, it was like, like I love this. You know, like, this is my getaway. Yeah. Straight up. So, yeah. yeah. Would y'all say, Coming out of Florida is hot. To make it out of Florida is hot. You just hard. gotta be consistent. But one yeah. thing about that camera, one thing about that music scene, you gotta just be consistent. I know they get tired of seeing my face, but get what? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna keep putting it out there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep putting it out there. So it's like you just gotta be consistent, dog. Like I mean, it's, like I said, there's a lot of niggas out my city to do it, dog. But I honestly feel like I'm the most consistent one. I'm always doing something. I'm always trying to get better than the next person. Not on no competition shit. I just know where I want to be. My shit gonna be on them lights, on them banners, on them billboards soon. So I just know it's God timing. So I, I just gotta stay grinding. Straight up. Shoot, I wouldn't, I'll say definitely right now when it comes to Florida, like, cause it's a lot of people popping in Florida, for real. It's definitely a lot right. of people popping in Florida. I just think that, I don't think it's hard to come out of Florida. It's just like, uh, and, and nothing against nobody, you know, making music out of Florida, but it's just like, I just feel like everybody trying to, I heard something from, okay, I heard something from somebody was like, everybody trying to like, not really sound like Kodak, but like, kind of like, be on that type of time, you know what I'm saying? And so it's just like, I guess they, Florida just needs something different. Like one thing about it, when you look at Atlanta, right? You got your future, you got, you know, uh, Thug and you got, Pee Wee Long Way, you know what I'm saying? You got Gucci, Jeezy, all that, right? But then you also got freaking Jacquees. You also got um, Playboy Cardi, you know what I'm saying? You just got so much different stuff, it's different. Everything, it's a mesh of everything. School it, man, can't school forget about school it, school. you know what I'm saying? It's just, <laughs> got less school out there. Yeah, it's just all like, you know, different stuff. And I think like in Florida is like, you know, you hear that pain, that hustle, that grind, that snap shit, but it's like, all right, what's something different that? That's what I think. I don't think it's hard though. Mm -hmm. Anything possible with God, like anything possible. Real deal. All right, it, I just think it's a little harder for like, if you want to come out as something different for real, just expand on that. Like, if you really want to come out with something different, you're going to have to work for that shit. Like, yeah. you're going to have to persuade people Definitely. to actually like your shit Definitely. or to actually sit well, down and listen wanna hear. because they want to listen to one thing. You can't yeah. tell, you know what I'm saying, these girls that's finna go out to the club that y'all finna play this on the way to the club. Nah, like, they want to play their shit. Yeah. Like, it don't matter what yeah. that shit is. They want to hear that shit. Yeah. So, yeah, it ain't, it ain't, I wouldn't say it's hard, 
but definitely gonna be a lot harder to blow up if you're gonna try out some different shit. No, nah, for sure. Besides music, what's some of the other things y'all working on right now? True. I'm in school right now. Yeah, um, I'm in my fourth year, going into my senior year. So once I finish that, I'm bio pre med at uh, FAMU. Yes, sir. So uh, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy because I almost switched get that degree. Yeah, yes, yeah, I almost switched my major, and um, cause like it just was so tough and like what I was doing, but like I stuck with it. And like it's taking a long time. Like I kid you not, know, I, I just sign up for my classes now. I'm like, God damn, how many more I got? But it's almost there. Like like my little pie chart, it's almost fully green. So other than music, all I do is in the freaking school work. Uh, outside of music, really just to be honest, just trying to get my my mind right. You know, just get right with myself, I guess, really just, you know, finding peace with myself and, of course, get to that money every day, but, like, shoot, too much outside of music, I just been so locked in, like, I, uh, I recently started, like, making beats and stuff, because, you know, I'm trying to... That boy just, sick, that boy cold, that <laughs> shit, I'm like, I'll be knocking on the damn door, like, God damn, man, let me get that <laughs> boy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I get wrong now. But yeah, I just, you know, I just been so locked in that it ain't too much. But that's the thing, like, I want to be able to, you know, do other stuff. So I guess, like, really, I guess I need to find some more hobbies to do, like, you know, we'll do some new shit. Let's well, start a garden. I was thinking about it. I was like, damn. I'm not going to lie to you. And, okay, it's crazy that you said that, too, because one of my homeboys, he just hit me up. He was like, man, you know all that stuff that, you, that people be eating be fake anyway, bro? Like, bro, learn you how to, you know, plant you a garden and then, like, you know, take care of them plants and, like, it's going to teach you some responsibility, too, because, like, you got to make sure you on point with that, boy. and, like, the chicks love that. Like, they love, you know what I'm saying, the plants and stuff They like love that. picking yeah. shelling yeah. 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 the plants, they love, you know, potting plants what? and all type of stuff, so, so repotting and all. That might be, that might be something I have to do hey. that. Just, just me, I got kids, so when I ain't in the, when I ain't in the booth focus on my music, I try to give my own time to my babies, as much time I can, man. Cause I'm always running back and forth, but when I just have that time to have my downtime, I just give it to them. They in their baseball season right now, so going to their games, spending time with them, that's my that's my goal. Kids, and this music, and this money, all that, that's, that's, that's what I'm rolling with right now. That's real. You know? Any last words and shout outs? Man, shout out. Everybody, hey mom. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> hey, shout out Essie two two five man. Fuck with me man. First nigga from the low man. In the A man, off the porch man. Yes sir. Hey man, shout out to the nine oh four. Shout out to my boys in Blitz that couldn't be here off the porch with it, but you know it's all love to my yes, boys sir. man. Y'all know who y'all boys is man. So you know how we rocking man. Fourteen EP won't get no sleep. And Lord shout out me. and shout out Amir and shout out Amari. I know y'all gonna get on that YouTube and see me. Uh, I'm gonna go and let my boys know, man. Shout out, man. Shout out London. Shout out Lee. Shout out T, man. I know y'all gonna check this shit out. So, man, hold that and make you proud. Real spell, man. Bless ENT. Yes, we appreciate sir. having y'all on the porch with us today, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate, appreciate that. Gang. Okay. Bless be the label. We not a gang. We not an army, bitch. Just a bunch of real niggas trying to get rich. Real Russian blood. Fuck an op. Don't get blitz.